right, Joe, you ready to blow this popsicle stand? <laughs> uh, we're heading to Aberdeen today and we will be going and doing some laundry. And I actually got a hotel room for the night. And it's one of the most expensive hotel rooms for one night I've had probably ever in my life. <laughs> Ooh. Let me get out of here safely, y'all. However, I have had little to no service every single place I've been in the last couple weeks, so I really need to get some work done. And I figured, you know, a hotel is a really sure way to be able to do that. So we're gonna drive into Aberdeen. It's only like 20 minutes, but I'm gonna stop at these bathrooms and the trash first. Hey, dear. <laughs> Hi. Well, have a wonderful day. See you later. Take the second right to stay on Washington 105 North. So as I mentioned earlier in this video, Aberdeen was the home of Kurt Cobain and they actually have his house kind of like a little tourist destination and uh, they have a memorial for him under the bridge up here. So we're just going to go see those really quick before we head to the hotel. That's it you guys, Kurt Cobain's house. So crazy. He lived there. And now let's go see his little memorial thing, just right up the street here. It started raining pretty hard, but his memorial's right up there. I think I'm gonna still go see it, even though it's raining cats and dogs out there. You gonna stay here for just a second, Joe, okay? I'll be right back. So I'm officially in my hotel room right now and I've actually been here for a few hours but I had a little mishap and could not for the life of me find my ID and I had a little mini meltdown about it. My anxiety went through the roof. Um, luckily 
I still had a copy of it from when I did my taxes so I still had like a picture of it and they allowed me to use that but I did lose my ID you guys and so then I had the wonderful process of trying to get a hold of the DMV just to find out that you do the replacement thing online now oh my goodness so originally my whole thing was that I was gonna come here and work and I'm still planning on doing that but I have had a couple hours of just sitting here and staring into space kind of because I cannot believe I lost my ID and the only thing I can think of is when I went off of the road and I had to have a cop come I gave her my ID and that was the last time that I took it out of my wallet so I did try contacting her office and uh, she was unfortunately not in today of course because <laughs> that would have been too easy right <laughs> But I did the online replacement thing, and so hopefully it said within 20 days I should receive it in the mail. <laughs> oh my gosh. Well, that's my little update for you guys. I'm going to start working. I'll see you guys in the morning. All right, Joe, you ready to get out of here, baby? You ready to go? In half a mile, turn right onto National Forest Development Road 2258 Quinault Ridge Road. In 800 feet, your destination will be on the right.
All right, you guys, this is where I'm going to end this video. It has been a weird couple of days, um, not to mention stressful because I lost my license. Um, but now I'm going to spend a couple days relaxing in the forest for some nature therapy. I have a camping reservation in a couple days at a campground on a lake in the Quinault Rainforest. So I'm looking forward to that. Um, I hope you enjoyed coming along with me, even though it was what felt like a day of chaos for me. <laughs> um, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you're new here, please subscribe below. I'll also put a link for my Patreon in the description box in case you guys want to check that out and help support my channel and my travels. Other than that, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!